In this video tutorial, we'll talk about uh, types of data. Now, dictionary.com defines data as a single piece of information. Uh, it can be a fact, uh, some kind of a statistic, a uh, code. And so it's basically a piece of information. Now, the object that you're collecting data on is often called a variable. And in this example, it says, suppose you want to know the average length of a YouTube video. You might sample 100 videos to get a reasonable answer. Now, the length of time would be the variable in this case. And here's several more examples of variables. The weight of a person could be a variable. Now, see, a variable is something that can vary. That's where the ver word variable comes from. So it can assume different values. And different members of the population, for example, people in this case, would have different weights. The number of trees in a backyard. Uh, some backyards would have a certain number, might have, you know, maybe eight trees, and another backyard might have no trees. So uh, the, the, the uh, value of the variable can vary. Hair color is another variable. It could be blonde, brown, black, gray, and of course if you get into colors, I mean, it can be any of a number of different colors. How much data your cell phone plan has is a variable. The country in which a person was born could be a variable. The mass of a piece of fudge or a person's gender. So there's several examples of variables. Now on the next page we're going to uh, uh, talk about qualitative versus quantitative variables and variables that use numbers are referred to as quantitative. Notice that the first several letters in this are the same as in the word quantity. Something that is numerical has a certain quantity to it. Those variables described using words are called qualitative, like the word quality. And what we're going to do in this table is uh, take all of those variables that were listed on the bottom of the last page, there were seven of them, and list them and, and list them as either qualitative or quantitative. So let's do the qualitative first. One example would be hair color. That's a qualitative variable. Uh, it is non-numerical. Your hair is, as I said in the example, it could be blonde, it could be brown, it could be red, it could be white, black, lots of different colors, but they're non-numerical. The country in which, in which a person was born is a qualitative variable. You were born in Canada or the United States or you were born in England or Russia, but it's non-numerical. It's a certain place. A person's gender is also a qualitative variable. So, and there were four examples of quantitative ones from the last page. The weight of a person, you would uh, uh, record that with a number. For example, uh, a person's weight might be 68.2 kilograms. So it's numerical or a certain number of pounds. The number of trees in a backyard, uh, that's a certain number. There might be eight trees in a backyard. Another is uh, how much data your cell phone plan has. It has uh, uh, you know, 4 gigs or 500 megs. Uh, again, you represent that with a number. And the mass of a piece of fudge, uh, that would also be represented with a numerical quantity. Now, the, um, the variables listed from the previous page that were quantitative, that were numerical. Numerical things can be further broken down into two different kinds. And those two different kinds are, they're called continuous or discrete. Now, discrete means something that's countable, such as the number of rooms in a house or the number of coins in your pocket. And those values can only be whole numbers. So, for example, if this is a floor plan of a house. We could count the number of rooms. We'd go one, two, three, four, five. There's five rooms in the house. Notice that there can't be like 5.2 rooms. Okay, it's only a whole number because it's countable. You don't generally count by like 0.2s or 0.5s. The number of coins in your pockets. You could have eight coins in your pocket. You could have three coins in your pocket. But you would probably never tell anybody that you have 8.2 coins in your pocket because it's countable. It's a certain whole number. So discrete 
are things that are countable. Now, continuous variables are measurable, such as the mass of a piece of fudge from the previous example, or how long a truck is. Your truck could be 5 meters, okay, which is a whole number, but it could also be like 5.4 meters. So, continuous variables can assume whole number values, but also any value in between those whole numbers, any decimals, any fractions as well. Now, just to finish with the fudge example here, uh, in this picture, we could take one piece of fudge and, and measure its mass. It might be like 53.6 gr uh, grams or something like that, like a chocolate bar. So any one piece's mass is measurable, but the number of pieces in the photograph is countable. I could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it looks like there's another one kind of hidden here, nine. So the number in the picture is nine, but the mass of any one is measurable. Okay, so things you count again are discrete. Things that you measure are continuous. And that's the end of the video.